What's up you guys, it's Tim Trevathan with Tim Trevathan Homes and here on this video, I'm gonna cover Back to the Basics, a new series, and just take you back for a minute, the simple part of what it means to buy a house and that is the actual offer itself, the purchase and sale agreement here in Georgia. And one of the things I wanna cover today is earnest money and option money. What are they and what is the difference between the two and how does it work? So here we go. Let's first talk about earnest money. So earnest money is a deposit that you put up front once you go under contract with a property. Some people believe that earnest money is deposited at the time that you submit an offer to the seller on a house that you're trying to purchase, but that is not the case. It's only when the seller accepts it and then you now have a legally binding executed contract that that is when you are to deposit the earnest money. Now, does it have to be immediately? It really depends on how you write the offer. The great thing is that in the offer itself, you determine how many days, within how many days uh, from the bonding agreement date when you do deposit the earnest money. Usually I do three days. So if you go under contract on a Monday, you have until Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday by the end of the day to deposit the earnest money. What is the purpose of earnest money? It is to show to the seller that the buyer is serious. Now, unlike a deposit for renting out a home where you get the money back at the end of the 12 month lease agreement, so to speak, this is not something that you get back per se. It's rather an amount that goes towards your down payment. So if you've got an earnest money amount that is $5,000, then that amount goes towards your down payment at the end when you wire your funds to the closing attorney to purchase the home. How much earnest money do you usually deposit? Typically here in Metro Atlanta, it's about 1%. So if you're buying a home that's $500,000, then the earnest money is gonna be 1%. That means it's $5,000. Now, in some cases, if you're in a multiple offer situation and you're having to compete, sometimes that earnest money amount has to be more, such as one and a half percent or maybe even 2%. With new construction, it's a bit different. New construction, uh, they have a set amount, so you already know how much you're gonna put, which is different than with resale, where you actually set the amount that you wanna put in your offer itself. With new construction, I've seen it as little as 5,000 here in this current market to as much as 25,000. And a lot of it has to do with preferred lender, which I'll cover in another video. So again, 1% for resale typically. So on a $500,000 house is $5,000. What does that imply at that point, other than letting the seller know that you're serious? Well, it is collateral and protection for the seller if you decide to back out after the contract. Now you have a due diligence period, which is your inspection period, Usually when I write up an offer, I typically do about five to seven days for due diligence period. And that starts at the time you go under contract. Within that five to seven day period, if you change your mind for any reason, you can back out and terminate and get all of your earnest money back in full without penalty. Now, great thing about the state of Georgia, which I believe some other states are different, you don't have to just disagree on the repair negotiations during the inspection that causes you to terminate and lose your earnest money. Uh, there is a separate form for that if you ever wanted to get competitive in your offer process, but typically you can back out even if you get cold feet and change your mind. Now, it's after the due diligence period that if you terminate then, that's when you lose it and the seller keeps it. That is for the time that the home has been taken off the market, so to speak, in pending under contract status, which could have been marketed to other buyers at the time had they known that the buyer wasn't gonna move forward. So that's kind of the, the reimbursement, so to speak, for the seller to receive back uh, in the form of the earnest money that the, the buyer deposited. Now, as far as option money, what is option money? This is a more obscure term used uh, simply because it's not been used much in contracts and offers, option money is a, a set amount in a pre-established amount of money that you're telling the seller, I'm going to give you even if you don't accept my offer. That's one way of putting it. There's other ways of putting it, but that's the, the clearest way I would say. Have I ever done this? Never in my career have I ever done option money in a contract because a seller could not accept your offer and still be entitled to keeping that option money. So what's the point of option money? Why would you need to use it? Well, back in 2017, 
I was in the business for a few years at that point. And there's another agent in my company in an office down the hallway from me. And he told me, Tim, I just got a contract accepted because I ended up choosing to put option money on the table. And I said, what's that? And, and how did that help with your offer, uh, your buyer's offer getting accepted? Well, he said that he kept getting outbid on house after house after house. His buyer that he had been working with for six months, been showing so many houses to putting in so many offers, uh, they couldn't get the offer accepted. So he decided to make a bold move based on the motivation and the desperation and the, the strong desire of his buyer to buy a house. He decided to take that risk and put down $500 option money. And it doesn't seem like much, but basically saying seller here, take it or leave it. You know, if you accept my offer or not, I'm giving you this money to show you how serious I am. Now he did an earnest money amount in addition to the option money. The option money was there to say, here's the extra amount that I'm going to put down as a non-refundable payment to you to show you how much I want your home. Because of that, the seller, it got the seller's attention and they accepted the offer and the buyer bought the house. Have I ever done option money? Like I said, no. So it probably will never be brought up in a conversation except for this video itself. Uh, so the main thing is to know what earnest money is about and I hope I was able to fulfill that in this video. Be sure to subscribe, catch my other back to the basics videos that I have been doing and that I will be putting out in the weeks to come. Catch you on the next one.